Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your truly love to see the mad. Okay, it looks like things in the world haven't been as good lately as they were before. Not that they were very good in the first place. There was already some shit going on. Or lots of shit. Wait here. This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule. Stay back! Sir? You don't belong here anymore. Holy Taylor, crap, stop shoot! Don't you know enough to stay away? You must shoot Freddy. I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. He had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. Tell me about the rebels. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're gonna try something dangerous. What happened down here? I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. I have to go now. Yes, you do. Bing, damn it! I guess you can see how bad things are down here. Sorry, where were we going? Oh, never mind, I'll find my own way. Okay then. Cut it out! Ready? Where did you go, Freddy? Oh, I'm not there. So not there. Bro, not here. I'm just gonna look around. Get a feel of the place, you know? Remember, this is a place I visited when I left. Isn't it? You never should have left, kid. Now we'll make sure nobody ever leaves again. <laughs> there you are. Seriously? Ah! Look out! Ah! Ah! This was unnecessary, you know that, right? Sure, I take your key. That's what even. Still was here here. I'm heading to his place, not the other one. Can we just open this? Yeah. Cool. I never thought you'd be back. Hello, Mr. Brush. It's been a while, kid. I guess the goat couldn't have predicted how you'd turn out, could it? Remind me to add a question about rescuing your teacher from the vault jail. If the vault ever goes back to normal, that is. By the way, while I was in there, I heard some worrying things from the guards. What did you hear? I heard one of the guards talking about some sort of plan to raid Amada and the rest of us. I didn't hear anything else, but I think he read it on the security terminal. So maybe you can find more there. I'm sure it's bad news for us all. Then we want the rebels. Most of them are just kids who are caught up in the idea of seeing the world. But I know we've got to actually open the vault if we want to survive. Otherwise, we're just going to dwindle away down here until it's all too late. What happened down here? It was pretty rough, I'll tell you. I know a lot of folks blame your dad. But I know he didn't mean to cause all that. Don't blame him or yourself. Ow, my bum is hurting from all the sitting. I I'm gonna have to go now. Watch yourself down here. Does it help that I've been on my feet for three days? Bucking, bucking, bucking as a god, as a god. Yay. Let's lower level. Just gonna keep my weapon out. That doesn't sound wrong at all. 
We'll see. Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Uh, with your leadership, no one in this vault has much of a future. That would be where you're wrong, young man. By locking down this vault, I'm protecting its future. In fact, I was protecting its future when I had to make those unpleasant choices the night you and your father abandoned us. I only wish I could have stopped your father before he left. If anyone's to blame for the unpleasantness, it's him. What do you mean by the world's future success? Aha, uh -huh. you're paying attention. Good for you. These vaults were designed to be safe havens for humanity, you see. But more than that, they were designed to test and protect us. And none more so than our Vault 101. We are to be a pure and protected breed of humans, never tainted by the ravages of the war above. What does it have to be isolated in order to keep its residents safe? And what makes you so certain about that? I can't imagine you're still so naive after spending time in that hell outside. None of them know what the outside is like, and most of them would die out there. Then the rest of us inside would eventually die out too. I won't risk all of our lives just for a few people's passing fancy of taking a wasteland vacation. I hope you can understand that. I believe I have the solution to the world's problems. To fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. The rivers are right. You need to open the vault. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? We simply don't have enough people to stay isolated down here forever. I admit. In the 200 years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little, but we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My god, you're right. We won't last another hundred years whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. <laughs> humanity isn't about pure genetics, it's about never giving up hope, even now. <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism, but I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission, but if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. Well, that worked. I wasn't expecting it to, but you know, that worked. Okay. Times. No? Um. Basic? Sure. Cool. Uh. <laughs> I don't actually need to do anything on this computer, so. Let's find the rebels. We didn't actually talk to them yet. Ooh, five bow pins. Say what? That's the best loot I've seen in a while. Because I keep accidentally mucking up with my um mucking up all of my uh pins. There we go. That took a while, but I got there eventually. Cleaning up my bow pins has worked wonders. Also we have successfully cleaned up the entirety of my... Wait, what? What was it going for? I was probably going to make some say something about the fact that I was surprised to actually successfully convince the overseer to back down. Just walked in then was like, yo. I'm a diplomat now. Yo. You're back again? 
And about the rebels. They're a bunch of hellions, that's what they are. I'm at my wit's end about them. I really am. What happened down here? It's all kind of blurry for me. But I hear I owe you for saving me. But don't expect much. The whole thing was your dad's fault in the first place. Bye. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Bye. Bye bye. <gasps> What's the big idea? Janice! Why are there just corpses around everywhere? Can't you just. This can't be sanitary. At all. Stop eating next to corpses. Oh, hey Gomez. And Mac. Anyone seen any rebels? Oh boy, are you in trouble? <laughs> Am I in trouble? What do you expect from idiots like them? I'm just glad I was done with Butch's stupid gang before they got involved in all this. What's up down here? You should have seen my pop. He personally saved old Stanley. But guess you wouldn't know what it's like to have a hero for a dad, would you? <coughs> yes, you do. I could probably shoot him in the head for the smack talk. And no one would know. The shot I will take for messing with my father's name. Watch out! Hey, hey, hey! Hi, hi, hello. Hi, hello. Light him up. Hello, hi. Oh! Didn't do anything wrong. What's wrong? Hi. Hey. What's the problem? We're acting really aggressive right now. Hmm. I don't really know what's up with them. Make it appear as if I performed some sort of crime or something. The overseer won't tolerate this kind of behavior. What kind of behavior? I only disintegrated the smack talking little son of a. Hello. Can't you just leave us alone? Tell me about the rebels. Those kids are risking our entire vault just because they're bored. It's horrible. What happened down here? The bugs were horrible, but my family was pretty lucky. But then my Freddy went and got caught up with those idiot rebels. Yes. Yeah, yeah bye. How do I get to the sub level? So can I get the, get a quick nap? Alright. Let's see if I can lose the heat. No. Would save you. Look out! Oh! Uh, Damn it. Uh, no, it's it's just uh, you're not really dangerous to me and I don't want to shoot you. Oh, chip's dead. Oh uh, you can open doors. Hey. Oh, you're aggressive too now. I think no one really likes me anymore. Wait. Where are we going? I was here. You saw the was here too, right? No? Hmm. Fine. No shooting you in the head, you little... Poop. You're a little poop. That's what you are. A little poop. Alright, uh, find the staircase that goes downstairs, so we can go to the sub-level, which I think may be where I'm at, eh? so I can tell her hi, hi. I just told your father to step down. And he was like, yeah, cool, why not? And everyone was relaxed about it. But no one shot anyone. Except for that one guy who tried to kill me, but... Let's be fair, he was a moron. M wait, or was he a moron? I, I don't know, but... Anyway, he had six fives. Uh, where do we go? I suppose the atrium should be where I will meet the new... 
whatchamacallit Hey, what's the word? So, what do you do in the vault? The damn goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. <laughs> okay, can I give me a haircut? I'm gonna barber the hell out of your hair. <laughs> barber it like you can. Whoa, that would be some good barbering, I say. On the other hand, that would be weird. Give me a cool hat. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Let's set her off. Oh, glowy. Let's go with glowy hair now. Thanks. Yeah, my hair's kind of glow now. Bye, much. So glowy. Why not? I never thought you'd be back. Hi. Oh, it's good to see you're back from outside. It can be dangerous out there for someone your age. So what happened down here? My poor grandson Jonas died is what happened. They say it was just an accident and all the confusion, but I know it was the overseer. Tell me about the rebels. Oh dear, we aren't asking for anything special. The vault's been open before, but for some reason everyone tries to pretend it wasn't. I guess they try to forget the poor souls who never came back from out there. Not to go now. Oh, please be careful. Oh well. I never thought you'd be back. You're alive! Tell me about the rebels. I hate that this whole thing has turned us against our families. But we just can't keep living down here forever. I mean, look at this place. What's up down here? A lot of security got wounded, and worse. In all the confusion, we still don't know who's responsible for some of them. Hmm, uh, sorry. Bye. I don't remember how much damage she goes, but probably sufficient. Wait. Hmm. Non radioactive water. <gasps> I should go drink toilet water. It's the best around here. Hmm. Hmm. Water fountain is fine too, though. I still want to find the matter. I, I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. You both care about the vault's residents, but in different ways. It's hard to forgive what he's done, but I suppose I can understand why he did it. I'm glad you brought him to his senses. But now there's a new overseer in charge, and I'm planning on opening the vault. This time for good. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. What is it? There are still so many things to repair, and a lot of bad feelings to mend. Some people still blame you for what happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. I understand. Goodbye, Amata. We can never really thank you enough for everything you've done. It's not much, but take this with you. To remember us by. It'll be a while before we're actually ready to go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. But with luck, we'll meet again. Good to see you. It's good to see you again. Hi, goodbye. Today. We'll miss you. How may I serve you, Master? Andy? Ah, another patient. What's it to be, eh? Appendectomy? Tonsillectomy? Hysterectomy? So, what's your take on the whole situation? Ah, uh, human problems for human half. I don't trouble myself with such petty affairs. My work is my life. And, as you can see, I've been quite busy. Andy, what happened? All this blood? Ah, yes, a rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The big one. Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate the leg. Yeah, I am sorry to say the operation was uh, not a uh, success. 
Wait, they made you the doctor? But of course, with your father's departure from the vault and Jonas's untimely demise, the overseer had to take swift action. <laughs> and so he named me the new vault medical practitioner. A marvelous decision, if I do say so myself. I am fully equipped, after all. Um, bye. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. No. Poop. Cut it out. Can I shut you down? No. Um. No one must know. How's everyone holding up in the dorms? No development. They're still quiet and scared. We won't be getting any of them to make a stand anytime soon. Okay, keep listening and see who else we can get to. I the never stand. thought you'd be, be back. Be careful up there. I'll keep myself safe if you do the same, Amada. I never thought you'd be back. I'm gonna leave now. So I was back for a second. Then I killed Andy because he was butchering people, and that's not very nice. So, guess this means. Good to see you again. Yeah, thanks for the hair, dude. It's all shiny. So shiny. That's fine. So now I should go and find the way out. And after this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do Death From Above. After which, I very much would welcome any information on um, what you would like me to do in the future. Should I just uh, finish Broken Steel and call it an end, or what? You don't. Good riddance. Get out! I thought we were civil. Fine, I'm leaving. By the only door I know what to leave the overseer office by. Wait, where's the switcheroo? There it is. Goodbye, Vault 101. You were a friend. I have to go now. Did someone blow up the door in my absence? No, it's still here. Come on. Blows up. Oh, fine. I'll let them worry about it. Alrighty, that's that finished with. So thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Come on, I'm in a hurry here. Come on, I'm fine. I'm not actually fine.